Hello folks, this video we are going to learn how to set up Ansible on Ubuntu server. So Ansible is pretty much number one configuration management tool out there. Using Ansible you can manage your entire configuration. Okay, And um, this video we are going to learn how to set it up on Ubuntu. Okay, So if you quickly look at the architecture, the way Ansible works, right? Um, you know, Ansible is completely agentless. Okay, um, Ansible is going to use SSH keys in order to connect with the target server. Okay, so you don't need any agent on the target server, right? Let's say uh, you have Ansible installed here and you want to manage your uh, target servers. Okay, let's say you want to set up Java, Maven, Jenkins, and whatnot, right? The way Ansible is going to work is you need to create SSH keys and then you need to upload the public key into these target server. Okay, once you upload them, and then Ansible is going to use SSH keys in order to communicate with them. And then, you know, it should be able to uh, apply any configuration changes and whatnot, okay? Those configuration changes are nothing but, you know, you need to create uh, playbooks and whatnot, okay? And then uh, there is also something called inventory file. So it is nothing but you can group your, uh, uh, you know, your host, right? So for example, if Ansible wants to connect to any server, you need to have an entry in the inventory file. Okay, if you don't have an entry in the inventory file, then Ansible won't be able to communicate with the target server, right? So that's kind of, you know, quick uh, architecture, right? So you have a playbook which are nothing but uh, your configuration uh, changes, which are nothing but your infrastructure as a code. And then you do have an inventory file, which, uh, which are nothing but, you know, you have all your uh, hosts, which Ansible is going to manage, right? So you, you are going to have an entry, right? And you can also group them as well, okay? And then Ansible is completely agentless architecture, okay? So it is going to use uh, SSH keys in order to communicate with individual server, okay? So that's kind of architecture in a nutshell, okay? So let's quickly see how to set up Ansible, right, on Ubuntu, okay? Yes, there are many ways you can um, install Ansible, but um, I'm going to quickly show you, right, by adding the uh, projects PPA, which is nothing but personal package archive, right? So we are going to add that into our Ubuntu system and then we are going to install uh, using that, okay? So that's what we are going to do. And then I will also show you guys how to set up Boto framework as well uh, because, you know, if you are using Ansible um, for provisioning infrastructure in AWS cloud, you need to have a Boto framework as well, which is nothing but it's kind of a, uh, you know, Python SDK uh, for Ansible, okay? Awesome. So let's get started. If you look at my setup, yes, this is my EC2 instance. I already have my EC2 instance up and running. So let's quickly see if Ansible is there on that uh, EC2 instance. Okay, as you can see, Ansible is not there. So let's get started, right? So let's start with the update. It is a good practice to update to latest uh, packages. And then like I mentioned, you know, we are going to go with this option, which is nothing but, you know, updating our local repository with the uh, official project PPA, okay? So once you do that, it's uh, you need to update your Ubuntu server. Okay, great. And then you can start the Ansible installation, right? And one more thing while this is working, right? So yes, Ansible is completely Python based, right? So in order for Ansible, uh, to work with the AWS cloud or any cloud provider, you know, you need to install uh, Python related stuff, right? So, okay, so it's very important that, you know, you, you know that. Awesome. So Ansible got installed. And then the next thing is we need to install something called Python pip. Uh, that is nothing but, you know, it's a package manager for Python because uh, we are going to install Boto framework and whatnot, right? So using Python pip, we are going to install Bote framework. So we need to first install Python pip. Okay, so right now installation is happening. Once you install the Python pip or pip, then you know we should be able to install the Bote framework, right? Okay, great. And then let's go ahead and then install the Boto framework using pip. 
And if you see here, I'm installing uh, both the version Boto as well as Boto 3 because you know some data center supports Boto and that some data center supports Boto 3. It's a good practice to install both. Okay. And then, uh, yes, we also need to install Python Boto as well. Okay, great. And then, of course, you can quickly view this, right? Like, you know, uh, what are the things got installed? Wow, you see here? So, so this is these are the things, you know, which got installed, right? And then, of course, you can ignore this warning, okay? Looks like everything is installed and then you can quickly check uh, what is the version we have, okay? You see here? So, this is the Ansible version uh, during the recording of this video, right? Which is 2.9.14, okay? So, yeah, so right now our Ansible is installed along with Boto framework so that, you know, we should be able to uh, provision any infrastructure in AWS cloud using Ansible, okay? Awesome, guys. Thank you for watching the video.